I'm in Bedfordshire, not far from Biggleswade. I've come by train, a Thameslink service from Surrey, so one can go through London without having to change trains. And then from the station, I've walked here to Old Warden, where you will find the Shuttleworth collection of vintage aircraft. So I've had a look around there, testing out the image stabilizers, as most of the best examples of the aeroplanes are in much darker hangars. Currently, I am relaxing in the Swiss garden before I continue my walk to the village of Old Warden that has some incredible architecture. And then from there, I take the walk again, three or four, four miles, back to uh, the station, Biggleswade Station, and the train home. By then, I hope you're not looking, because I'll probably have a nap before I get to my destination station. didn't take long to find some much needed sustenance in the shape of a panini after my train journey and I love the message on the cup. You have probably raced past Biggleswade at high speed by car or train without realising it. On this occasion I alighted at the station and quickly girded up my loins for the three mile walk to Old Warden and the Shuttleworth collection of vintage aircraft, starting by following the River Ivor. I took with me just the OMD EM1 Mark II and the 12 to 100 Pro lens, and I was off. Soon the sounds of overhead aircraft confirmed that I was nearing my goal. Shuttleworth House is 19th century, located in Old Warden Park. It can be hired for weddings, and you can have a pre-booked afternoon tea. Tempting as that may be, I went for the Shuttleworth collection of vintage aircraft, regarded as one of the most prestigious in the world. It was founded in 1928 by Richard Ormond Shuttleworth, and the collection is housed in six hangars. It also has its own tea shop, but you don't have to pre-book. I found the static display interesting from a photographic standpoint and was intrigued by the various geometric shapes achieved by different viewpoints. Being in a hangar and under low light, illumination was a mixture of artificial and daylight. I relied on the image stabilizers in both camera and lens for sharp images. Yes, these shots are handheld. Save to RAW with the white balance on auto and then corrected afterwards in Adobe Lightroom. There was much activity at the Shuttleworth connection. In addition to the static display, you could take a ride on the vintage bus, but not perhaps on a tractor. This is my driver, and when I hopped aboard, I was also given a personal commentary. Unfortunately, the sound of the engine made it difficult to hear him. This really was a workman's uh, bus in East Northamptonshire, and he used to go around in villages of Broads, Stanning, and so on, do a circular route, and then come back to Wellingborough, and then start all over. The Swiss Garden was created between 1824 and 1832 by the third Baron of Old Warden, Lord Ongley, 
and attending for afternoon tea parties was then the fashion, but after his departure in 1850 it fell into disrepair. When Shuttleworth purchased the estate, they made sweeping changes, and that included restoring the Swiss garden, adding various features that included the broad walk. Further restoration took place after the Second World War, and today it is an attraction that, well, it's part of the ticket price for the Shuttleworth collection, and it should not be missed. The third element of the estate is its village of thatched cottages. Parking is restricted unless you choose to patronise the pub. Alternatively, if like me, you are more energetic, it can be walked from the Shuttleworth collection via the house through Old Warden Park, a distance of, well, at least a mile. There didn't appear to be a bus service from the village back to town, so once again I strode forth, totting up my personal mileage to 16.1 before reaching the station and home. Well, that was what my smartphone said, but the evening light was worth the final sacrifice as I limped back onto the train. <laughs>